Hey everyone, welcome back to Road & Reel. I'm JP and today we're going to be looking at the new Ventures Fly Company Weekend Warrior Starter Pack. Uh, this is a really cool kit, perfect for anybody just getting into uh, fly fishing. Or you know, holidays are coming up, so this is a perfect gift to get for that one person that uh, maybe started fishing the last year and they're looking to take it a step further. And before we begin, I just want to thank those of you that have gotten this channel this far. Um, we couldn't do it without you and uh, again, I really appreciate those likes and those comments and everything uh, down below. So if you're new to the channel, uh, make sure that you do hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all my new videos. Um, again, we're gonna be doing some giveaways in the future and uh, I do have some holiday uh, gift giving guides that will be coming out as well. Make sure that you hit that bell notification so that you know uh, as soon as possible when these videos come out. And again, as we're moving through this package, if you see something uh, that you wanna comment on, just put it down below and uh, I'll try to respond as quickly as possible. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, I just wanna start off by saying that this is the largest starter pack that they offer. This is their Weekend Warrior package. They also offer something called a Toe Dipper package, which basically just has a smaller fly collection, uh, no pack and uh, no net. So maybe, you've already have, maybe you already have those flies, maybe you already have a pack or a lumbar system that you're using that you really like. Uh, either way, this still gets you started with the rod, the reel, and uh, you know a whole smorgasbord of supplies. So this is everything that you would absolutely need to get out on the water. Uh, let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we are given. So I'm just going to start off by saying that a really cool thing about this is that even though this is an entire package, you could piece together any of these things uh, individually and it's not like you're gonna lose out on that great pricing this net for example right here right nice little silicone uh, bucket and everything wood wrapped and all that other stuff uh, it's gonna last for years and years this net still only $24.99 on their website so that's really cool the, the net that you see me carrying around in my videos I paid a hundred dollars for it now I understand my nets like carbon fiber and it floats and a bunch of other things but this is the perfect net for anybody any beginner any intermediate uh, anybody that's just looking for a spare net or a primary net to have around, this is perfect for those situations. Um, it's got the silicone, uh, you know, nice rubber basket in it. And um, it's really nice because this is really uh, friendly to, you know, that mucous membrane and things on those trout and uh, any of those salmonid species. Um, when we're looking at their uh, net release, it's got a nice bungee shot cord. There's plenty of room. I mean, look, what, that's almost six feet right there that I can stretch this out. It's got a nice strong magnet here, right? And I can clip that on the back of my waders. I can clip it on a pack. Uh, this is really gonna get the job done. And this on their website is only like $15. When I got into the game and I bought my net release, I, I paid like 30 bucks for it, right? And I had to buy my own zip ties to put it on there. So, so this is something. Uh, that I'm really excited about. Now, let's go ahead and let's check out this pack that comes along with it. So this is the Ventures Fly Company. This is a sling. Uh, I don't usually fish with a sling. I fish with a lumbar pack, but this is super ergonomical, um, right? So, all right, I'm sitting in a chair and obviously this is uh, running into some things, but the cool thing about this, first of all, is this unattaches right there. So it makes it really easy to get it off in a pinch. Um, I've got an attachment here for maybe my zinger or uh, I want to put my pliers or something, hang it off there. Um, if I pull this around, all of my pouches are right here. Everything just opens up, right? And there's plenty of room. Uh, I can get a large fly box in there, probably a couple fly boxes. I can get some gloves, a beanie, uh, something like that. Um, plenty of room in this one. This is a super large compartment. Uh, the fly compartment here, I've, I've got room for extra tippet. Uh, I can put my indicators here. Uh, leaders, a whole bunch of different stuff, uh, extra floating, all those things that you might need. So this is a really cool, uh, really well thought out design. Um, it's got a water holder here, uh, right? Soda, beer, whatever you're going to carry with you on the on the water. So again, a really well thought out pack and uh, pretty durable too. I, I really like the fabric and things that it's made out of. Super lightweight, so it's really not going to slow you down on the water. Now, before we get into all the other supplies and the rod and reel and all that other stuff, I just want to take a minute to talk about their flies. Um, this is their 122. This is their premium fly kit. Uh, it really has everything that you would ever consider to have uh, starting out. And the cool thing that I like about their flies is that they all come with this comprehensive uh, little 
fly chart, right? You turn it over and on the back you have all the hatches and how you might recognize those out on the water. That's a really big deal. So I'll get you zoomed in there. You can really see, uh, you can see exactly what those would look like on the water and what to expect and all their different hatches and all that stuff there. Uh, if you're wondering what flies to use in that situation, well here they are and they line up. They line up accordingly to how they're organized in this little kit. So when you're looking at this, you can really tell that this was well thought out and uh, really put together by fly fishermen. People that are out there on the water, they're out there fishing, uh, they're, they're using these supplies and they really know what they want in a package. So looking at the other fly kit, this one's cool. It comes with a really cool knot tying guide. Uh, again, it's got all your flies and everything on the back side. Uh, really sweet sticker. I love stickers. Um, anyway, if you want to get a good look at any of this stuff, head over to VenturesFlyCompany.com and uh, check that out. You can get a look at what individual flies come with which box and all that other stuff. And you can really get a good idea of what you will be getting when you purchase this kit. Now, let's look at the other supplies that come along with this. So starting off, we get three different types of leaders. We get a 5X, a 4X, and a 3X, which is perfect. This is a five, five weight rod, so you won't have any problems uh, turning over these leaders. Uh, the cool thing is that it also comes with three uh, sizes of tippet. So we get 4X, 5X, and 6X. So you can, if you're into that and uh, you know, maybe you want to take it a step further and uh, you want to create your own uh, leaders out of all these different tippets, this is available to you. It comes with a nice little holder. You can attach it to the pack, right? Keep it wherever you want to keep it. Uh, it's going to be best for you. I like to keep mine down here because first of all, it's out of the way, but I can pull my, my tippet off there in a nice little uh, you know, foot to two foot sections whenever I'm building those leaders. And this next little cool piece of equipment, we got this little zinger here. Uh, there's a sweet little attachment on that pack. Keep it right here on your shoulder. Got this here, pull it out. Okay, works really well. Uh, for me, I really love this little setup here for their, uh, their floating. And so this is actual uh, Loon Outdoors floating, which Loon is a very great company. And, right? So you can attach this so that you constantly have your floating available whenever you're out there fishing those dries um, or maybe you're fishing a dropper rig, right? We all know that we need that little extra buoyancy whenever you're on a dropper rig. Um, if you're fishing an indicator, right? They give you these nice little thingamabobbers here. These are really cool. Uh, they will last all day on the water. They, they're easy to adjust. You can slide them up and down your tapered leader, no problems. Um, and they don't fill up with water. Uh, I, I really like to use the, uh, the yarn indicators in certain situations, but I've been going to these lately because the yarn, it'll get wet. You gotta put floating on it as well. Um, and sometimes it comes off and you have to catch it floating down the river. So these are really cool. Uh, these three should last you for the better part of a season, I would imagine. You got your split shot. I don't know how many situations I've been in and I've had to walk up to somebody that's on the water and I'm like, hey, you have any extra split shot? I'm all out, right? These split shot are really handy to have. Uh, I like to run a couple split shot and a couple small split shot, probably six, eight inches in front of my streamers when I'm running streamers. Uh, it keeps it nicely in the water as, it, as you're, you know, stripping that through. So uh, again, th this, this is something that you never see in a starter pack because a lot of fly fishermen, they don't want to tell you that they actually use a uh, split shot. They like to keep it pure and essential and all that other stuff, um, but that is super nice to have in a pack, right? And as always, you've got your forceps here or your pliers, your, your crimpers. And you might check out my other video where I go through their uh, accessory pack and I show you uh, how to use these and the nippers and the, and the, the tippet holder and all that other stuff. Um, we have a dual sided clear case, right? This is really nice because you can organize your flies according to what you're fishing. I like to run my dry flies on one side. I like to run my wet flies on the other side. Um, and you get a good idea of what you have on hand. So this is something you can pull it out and you can see, oh, I need to pick up some more of these flies or this pattern, or um, maybe I'm gonna have multiple cases and I wanna be like, oh, well, this case is for this time of the year. This other case is for another time of the year. And you don't have to have any labels on there or anything. You can just look straight through and see exactly what you have and exactly what you're working with. Now, we are getting to, this is a, a nine foot, five weight uh, fly rod. This is probably the most universal size fly rod 
that you will find throughout the world. Uh, more people are fishing a five weight fly rod than probably any other rod uh, combination that's out there. And before I look at it, because I haven't actually seen this rod, the really cool thing that I like about a five weight rod and a starter pack is that you can do everything with a five weight rod. I can fish in the ocean with it. I can fish in small mountain streams with it. Um, in those situations, you're not gonna do everything the best, but you will do everything well enough to have a good time on the water. And like I said, it's a very nice kit to start here and build out from. So like a five weight, maybe I wanna pick up a three weight, maybe I wanna pick up a, a seven weight or an eight weight for turning over some of those large streamers or uh, you know fishing those, those bigger waters where I'm gonna be throwing something really heavy. The thing is, I can still turn over a streamer with a five weight rod. I can still drop this nice delicate dry fly with a five weight rod. Um, are there better rods out there to do it? Yes, of course, but this will get you out on the water in any situation that you might be in. So here we are, let's check this thing out. So this is really cool. It says it's a, uh, a nine foot five weight fast action rod. So a fast action rod is very nice whenever you're wanting to uh, learn how to cast because it kind of loads itself up for you. So a slow action rod or like the old fiberglass rods or uh, Reddington makes their butter stick. It's a, it's a great rod, but they're really slow and they're, they're different when you get out there and you're loading that rod and you're, and you're making your cast. A uh, fast action rod means that you can basically get away with more mistakes and still make that cast that you need to make. So this one here, uh, I believe it comes in four sections. Yeah, so it does, it comes in four sections, which this makes it a great packing rod. Um, I believe all modern rods come in four section rods now. It's got the little alignment dots here. It's a matte finish, but you can see uh, right around the eyelets and everything. And these are very quality eyelets. I like that. All right, so these are dual footed stainless eyelets, it looks like. Um, Right, you can see here, these ones here on the base, they have uh, ceramic inserts, which normally you get that on one here and then you just go back to that little stainless eyelet there. But no, this is very, this is very nice. This is a very robust rod. Uh, it's really nice to see that they take the time. And again, like I said, with this package, you can go through any of these online and let's say you just wanted to buy the rod, you can buy the rod. and. I, and it's not very expensive. It's not like uh, you have to buy it as a part of this package deal in order to save money. In fact, uh, this is a very uh, competitive rod price. I believe it's under $200. So it's got the nice tapered cork handle, uh, classic trout handle. I don't really know what that design would be, but so you can see that real seat there, uh, nice little burled wood uh, real seat. It's got uh, dual, yeah, it does. It's got the dual locking nut. Uh, in there so that's going to keep your reel in there on the water uh, you're not going to be fighting that it's really nice it's got a hook holder here so you're not doing that little wrappy thing where you gotta hook it onto your reel another cool thing about this rod that you don't often get is you actually get a spare tip this is really nice if you watched my last fly fishing video where i broke my rod uh you know towards the end of the trip um if it wasn't for my ingenuity and me willing to fish with a stiffer, uh, you know, missing section of my fly rod, uh, my day would have been over. So having an extra one of these, especially if you're going to travel with this rod, you're going to carry it around um, or, uh, you know, accidents happen sometimes. We all usually run trucks and we have tailgates or back doors and all that other stuff. And you're waving around a nine foot stick. It's going to hit some things and every once in a while it's going to break. So it's really nice to have that extra rod tip in there with it. Now we're getting to this reel. Uh, this is where I really wonder about reels because I've had cheap reels before. I've had non-name brand reels before. Uh, the one thing about fly fishing is that a lot of times your reel is really just holding your line. Uh, when you look at how people fly fished in the past, uh, you know, when you're just palming your reel and things like that, for your drag, uh, that was a big deal, or you might just have the click system. Um, Reddington Zero reels work that way, and I really love my Reddington Zero reel. But I'm really anxious to look at this, because I think that this is where this fly fishing starter package really comes into play. Uh, because when you pick up a reel, when you pick up your fly line, when you pick up um, you know, your backing and all that other stuff, you don't realize how expensive that can be 
uh, to your, your fly fishing purchase. You think you've bought your, your net, you bought your rod, and you're ready to get on the water, and then you realize that you've got another three or four hundred dollars tied up into a decent reel. So this one, um, this is my first time looking at it. So it, it's got, let's see, yeah, it's got a clicking drag system in it. It's got a lot of adjustment, wow. That's really cool. Yeah, this one's a left-hand retrieve. And uh, you see you've got your welded loop on your float line. Check out everything online, but this is a weight forward uh, floating fly line. The, let's see how it looks when you pull it apart. Just pulling this apart really quick. I wanna see what's inside here. All right, I just got back from the workbench pulling this whole thing apart. <laughs> My wife made a point to say that I'm the only person that she knows that would take something that was brand new and uh, pull it apart to see how it was made. But, right, we gotta know what we're looking at here and what we're, uh, what I'm actually telling you to buy. So, um, looking at the quality, uh, it's really nice. I don't see any tooling marks or anything like that. So, uh, the build quality is very nice. Your drag system is a paper disc drag system here. Um, uh, fiber disc, uh, whatever, whatever they want it want to call it now. Uh, these are very uh, tried and true method of uh, having a drag system in your reel. Uh, very nice. And um, the good thing about them is they still perform relatively well when they get wet. Right? Who's thinking about that? When you got a fish on, you got to set your drag, right? I usually just crank it until it starts to slow down. But very well built. Um, you know, the back side here, it's got a nice little uh, O-ring seal for it. So, uh, relatively happy with the way this thing is made. So I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna put this back together and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, now that we got the reel all put back together, uh, you can see that this is a really comprehensive starting pack. Uh, this is per perfect for those of you that are wanting to get into fly fishing. You know you wanna get into fly fishing so you're not scared to drop a little bit of money, um, but you don't exactly know uh, what you want to piece together. Um, this is something that I would have loved to have when I first started fly fishing and uh, I can't wait to get this rod out on the water. And uh, so I encourage you, like I said, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you are ready whenever I am and uh, you're notified as soon as I get that video out. Um, I will be taking all of this equipment out and, and testing it out on the water and see how well it does. Uh, I can't wait to see how well that rod lo loads up and see how it casts. So with that being said, uh, I just want to thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next video. So stay tuned.